guys here's what I'm doing this morning my mango passion fruit kombucha has been sitting carbonating for almost two days about a day and a half and this thing is as tight as you want to get it normally I would just put this stuff in the refrigerator slow down the carbonation but I have noticed that if I leave it in there too long you know the carbonation will still keep going even though it's slowed down dramatically. And then sometimes I end up with bottles that when I open it, it's over carbonated. So what I'm doing today is right here, I've got my immersion circulator going. I've got it set to 140 degrees. I've got six of my bottles in it. Um, what I'm doing is trying to get it up to 140 degrees in the bottles. And the way I'm doing that is I've got one bottle that just has water in it with no top on it. And I will use my read my thermometer to get a reading. Like right now, it is 103 degrees. I want that to get up to 140 degrees. And then I will let them set at 140 degrees for about 20 minutes and then take them out. And that's going to pasteurize the kombucha and will kill off any yeast that still might be in there fermenting and thus carbonating. So hopefully that'll work out fine. Now this bottle I didn't have room for, so it goes in the fridge along with this. Well, I decided while this is going and I put the other bottle in the fridge, I just as well open this little tester bottle and see what this stuff is like. So let's see. Oh, nice carbonation. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks really nice. Tastes like mango, passion fruit, kombucha. Well guys, it's done. They went 20 minutes at 140 degrees. No bottle bombs, which is great. So now I should be able to take these and just put them in a cabinet or set them somewhere and not worry about them carbonating anymore. Of course, I could put them in the fridge too, if I would like, but 